The headlines. Central bank workers return to the job after intern's promotion is cancelled. Bajan women may have to be offered incentives to have more children, according to a health official. We hear from residents on the call for higher bus fares. And Darian King is first up in the weekend's Davis Cup tie. Welcome to Nation News for Thursday, September the 17th, 2015. Central bank workers returned to the job earlier after officials rescinded the promotion of an intern that had met some resentment. They had effectively been on strike since Friday. Workers had been protesting several grievances, though the one that really raised their hackles was the temporary intern appointment to a post they said had not been advertised internally. Just after 10 o'clock, Barbados Workers' Union General Secretary Tony Moore said she had received a letter from the bank informing her that the promotion had been withdrawn and of an offer to discuss workers' grievances. One year after Nation News highlighted the poor living conditions of pensioner Perlene Downs of Bathsheba, nothing much has changed. You may recall Ms. Downs was living in a badly deteriorating home which had been damaged by Hurricane Thomas and to which she had to return after falling out with her daughter. Nation News recently visited her. The house, as you see, is in bad condition. Mm -hmm. uh, the rats and the, and the cats and all kind of thing running through. You know, I don't have the comfortable way. I got to slip here in a chair, you know, when the rain falls. I just got to ease from getting wet. You know, a, a bad situation. Really want some help. Minister of Housing Dennis Kelman had promised to help, but a land dispute was also causing problems. Ms. Downs said the weight was taking a toll on her health. She has diabetes and is also hypertensive. When contacted, Dennis Kelman said he would have to check the Rural Development Commission for an update, but he had asked for the matter to be given priority. The nine people charged in connection with a series of well-publicized recent crimes have all been remanded to Dodds. The offenses include the theft of guns from a security firm, robbery at a restaurant full of tourists, and the robbery of a service station. Magistrate Christy Coffey Sargent read a total of 18 charges to the defendants who have been charged jointly and separately. The next court appearance in the cases involving District A will be on October the 15th, while those in other courts will be on Monday and Wednesday. Police say they seized 1,100 cannabis plants in operations on Wednesday, but made no arrests. The Drug Squad and Tactical Response Unit seized 945 cannabis plants at Kofi Gali, St. Joseph, and 155 at Brayton, St. Philip. The plants ranged in height from 1 to 9 feet. A call has been made for incentives to be provided to Barbadian women to have more children. In a speech to retirees, Dr. Kenneth George, a government senior medical officer of health, alluded to the current low birth rate, which is a growing concern among policymakers worried about the impact that a shrinking working age population will have on the economy. Dr. George said the low rate is part the result of women concentrating on their careers and consideration may have to be given to offering them inducements to have more children. The business minister, Donville Innes, says he hopes to see the day when there is a film festival showing only locally made films. Mr. Innes said it was an untapped area when he spoke at the start of the annual European Film Festival Wednesday night at the Errol Barrow Centre. And we recognise in Barbados that there is a lot of that potential that has to be brought to the fore in a sustainable manner that creates meaningful employment for people. And the European Union continues to provide that support, financial and otherwise. I think what you're doing constantly is, is uh, raising the level of awareness as to this sector. And the duty is on us in government and the private sector in Barbados to take the battle and run with it. Therefore, I look forward to the day, in the not the too distant future, where we can have a film festival in Barbados entirely made up of Barbadian um, plays. 13 films from across Europe will be screened free of cost at this year's festival, which runs through Sunday. 
after a break of more than a decade, NASCO has opened a used car lot. Sears director Roger Moore said the decision had been spurred by the recession and the growing market for second-hand vehicles. Well, obviously, the used car dealers have provided some uh, competition over the years, and more so now because of the cost of, of new vehicles. A lot of people now are, and because the recession is still on, a lot of people are holding on to their vehicles longer and they're looking for cheaper vehicles. So that's where the used car market has, has expanded. He was speaking on Wednesday as NASCO introduced an upgraded Toyota Hilux to the market. Mr. Moore said NASCO had lost about 1% of market share, which equaled 20 cars, but they were optimistic looking ahead. Some public service vehicle owners are pushing for a fee increase, but what do you think? Nation News has been finding out. I don't think it should be increased. Not right now. Not the way how things go, you know. No, I don't think they should. Things are, are already hard on people, so I don't think they should. I don't think they should increase. I think they should stay hold of it. The men are they increase already. How um, more, much more than one increase them? I don't think they should get the um, rest though, because we honestly, as people inside the um, Caribbean, ain't getting a cost of living raise. So if we can't get as low wage people, then they shouldn't go up because we can go up here extra by fear, which means now that we already get dollars in by fear already for some people. You know, some, some people have got to pay a thing, so it don't really make no sense, so I don't agree with that. The views of some Barbadians on bus fares, which were last raised in January 2011. Wayne Rooney's Barbados Villa at Royal Westmoreland is on the market for holiday lets. Just in case you're interested, the property of the England football star sleeps up to 14 guests. Can be booked for seven days in November at £8,000. That's about 25000 Barbados dollars. The hire includes 28 complimentary rounds of golf and access to the Mullins Beach VIP area. If you are single, so no Ashley Madison types, a new Caribbean dating website has been launched with its eyes initially on Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, and Jamaica. Next Comes Love has been promoting itself as Barbados' newest dating site. Do we already have one? And it is inviting local singles to start connecting to someone nearby. Sport now. In Davis Cup tennis, Barbados' top player Darian King will be first up against Ivan Indara of Ecuador in the Americans Group 1 playoff at the National Tennis Center at the Garfield Sobers Complex on Friday. That match starts at 10 a.m. and will be followed by our Hayden Lewis against Emilio Gomez in the second singles. King said he was feeling at his best even though he lost a close match in a U.S. Open qualifier. The doubles will be played on Saturday and reverse singles on Sunday. Finally, a six-week-old baby in Wisconsin is expected to make a full recovery after drinking formula made with two shots of vodka. Here's how it happened. The mother put water in a container to make the formula and left the kitchen, but the father emptied it and filled it with vodka, intending to take it to a friend's house. She returned and made the formula with the vodka, which is of course colorless and generally odorless. They realized the mistake after the baby started behaving erratically. Police did not charge the parents as they believed it was a genuine error. And that's Nation News for Thursday. For more news, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. And remember to pick up your Weekend Nation on Friday or subscribe to our e-paper.